Hello, and welcome to the October installment of Construction Junction, presented to you by MSU Infrastructure Planning and Facilities. If you have any comments or questions concerning this presentation, or have suggestions on how we might improve, please let us know via the feedback box on the Construction Junction webpage located at the address on the screen. The agenda for the October presentation will begin with updates on which projects are going to the next two Board of Trustees meetings. We will then have new project presentations on the Cook Hall renovations, as well as the window and curtain wall replacement at Student Services. Lastly, we will have updates on the various ongoing projects. Beginning with the October BOT meeting, the projects going to the Board will be, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, Jenison Fieldhouse Renovations, and Hubbard Hall Masonry Repair, Phase 3. Moving on to the December BOT meeting, the projects going to the board will include, for Step 2, Authorization to Proceed, International Center Revitalization, Student Services Window and HVAC Upgrades, Cook Hall Building Renovation, Dairy Research Complex Electrical Distribution, and Wells Hall Induction Unit Replacement, Phase 2. And for Step 3, Bid and Contract Award, Wilson Road Extension, and Olin Health Center Student Wellness Center. We begin this month's new presentations with the project to renovate Cook Hall. Cook Hall is located in the North Academic District. Cook Hall is one of six buildings constructed between 1888 and 1909 in the historic Laboratory Row area of North Campus. Renovations to this historic structure are part of the plan to restore all of these structures, thus preserving MSU's heritage. The renovations will also improve the quality and functionality of the spaces in the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. The goal of this project is the comprehensive renewal of Cook Hall while preserving its historical character. The work will be similar to what has been previously done in adjacent buildings. Exterior renovations will be not part of this project as they were completed in 2010. The renovations are anticipated to include accessibility improvements to restrooms, installation of an elevator, internal alterations of offices and support spaces, lighting upgrades, HVAC upgrades, and technology upgrades. Impacts to the campus community will include the required vacancy of the building during the construction period. Construction is scheduled to begin in February of 2018 with completion by September of that year. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Cook Hall renovation can be directed to the design representative, Amr Abdelazim. Next, we have a new presentation on the project to replace the windows and curtain wall at the Student Services Building. Student Services is located in the North Academic District. This project is necessary as the existing windows were installed in the 1960s and replacement of these units will make the building more secure and weathertight. In addition, new energy efficient HVAC units are needed to replace the aging units. The goals of the project include restoration of the integrity of the building envelope, increasing energy efficiency of the HVAC systems in the building, and mitigation of water infiltration in the sub-basement. Impacts to building occupants will include relocation away from exterior windows during demolition and replacement, and diminishment of airflow throughout the facility while the HVAC units are replaced. Construction equipment and vehicles will be kept to a minimum to reduce parking impacts. Construction is expected to begin in April of 2018 with completion by September of that year. Here you see an example of the condition of some of the existing windows and solar shades, the deterioration of the existing HVAC units, and some of the water intrusion into the sub-basement. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Student Services Project can be directed to the construction representative, Carol Cool. We now begin our construction updates with the Interdisciplinary Science and Technology Building Construction Project. This project is located in the South Academic District in the former location of Parking Lot 90. Accomplishments during the month of September included completion of the foundations, completion of the backfill around the building, reopening of all lanes of service road, and commencement of structural steel erection. 
Impacts to the campus community during October will include continuing heavy construction traffic on Service Road and a temporary steam shutdown in South Campus buildings sometime between September 15th and October 15th, with the actual date to be chosen based on least impact to building occupants. Here you see a shot of the foundations nearing completion and of the wrapping up of backfilling around the building. The electrical conduit lines being ready for the concrete duct bank pour, the preparation of the steam valves for installation, and the beginning of structural steel erection. For those of you who would like to follow the progress of construction on this project, please check out the live webcam site at the address on the screen. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the ISTEC building project can be directed to the construction representative, Carol Cool. Next, we have an update on the Business College Complex Edition. The Business College Complex is located in the Central Academic District. Accomplishments during the month of September included completion of the Lear Building demolition, commencement of site excavation, and progress on the East Side Foundation. Impacts to the campus community during October will include continued closure of the north and south sidewalks between Shaw Hall and the Business College Complex. Mass excavation has begun at the former Lear Building site, along with installation of the underground plumbing lines for the pavilion, and auger cast pile installation for the pavilion foundation. Here you see the site logistics plan showing those areas affected by construction. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Business College Complex Edition can be directed to the construction representative, Tony Rhodes. Next, we have an update on the Food Processing Innovation Center project. This project is located off campus on Hewlett Road. Accomplishments during the month of September included completion of roof construction, rough-in of the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, and enclosure of approximately 99% of the addition. There are no additional impacts expected during October. Here you see the concrete loading dock approach, the enclosure of the new addition, and the rough-in work of the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Food Processing Innovation Center project can be directed to the construction representative, Tony Rhodes. Next, we have an update on the Solar Carport project. This project involves several parking lots throughout South Campus. Accomplishments during the month of September included completion of foundation installation, canopy erection, and solar panel installations in the western sections of Lot 83, the eastern section of Lot 89 is nearing completion of the solar panel installation. Completion of the installation in the eastern sections of Lot 91 and 92 with ongoing work in the middle sections and the beginning of canopy erection in Lot 100. The first power from the Lot 89 array is expected to be received into the power plant sometime in November. Impacts to the campus community during October will include continued closure of portions of parking lots as the installation phases progress. Staging of materials and construction equipment will be coordinated to minimize impacts during football games. Here are some shots of the solar arrays in operation at Lot 89. And a shot of the underside lighting in operation. Installation progresses at Lot 91. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the solar carport project can be directed to the construction representative, Chris Barnes. Next, we have an update on the project to add an addition to the engineering research complex. The engineering research complex is located in the South Academic District. Accomplishments during the month of September included progress on the building steel erection, along with the masonry walls, and the installation of lighting in the C32 renovated space. Impacts to the campus community during October will include increased construction traffic in the area, as well as increased construction related noise. Here are some shots of the erection of the steel components. 
and of the roofing installation in progress, and the masonry wall installation. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Engineering Research Complex Edition can be directed to the construction representative, Ken Gottschalk. Next, we have an update on the 1855 Place Project. This project is located in the Northwest Residential Mixed-Use Districts at the former site of the Michigan State Police Post. Accomplishments during the month of September included substantial completion of the first floor training rooms, the RHS IS Tech work area, and the second floor RHS staff areas. Impacts to the campus community during October will include the closure of the east entrance to the marketplace due to crane lifts on October 2nd and 9th, and the installation of automatic door openers on 12 exterior doors. The grand opening celebration for the complex is scheduled for October 20th. Here is a shot of one of the exterior decorative element installations in progress and of the finished installation. A shot of the entrance drive to the mixed-use facility. The plaza area near the Kalamazoo Street and Harrison Road intersection showing the new art installations. With a closer view of one of the juniper sculptures. The plaza area between the student apartment unit end caps and the mixed-use tower. And some examples of the completed retail spaces. Finishing of the flooring in the office portions and completion of interior decorative elements in the same areas. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the 1855 Place project can be directed to the project representative, Andy Linebaugh. Lastly, we have an update on the work that is being done as part of the Breslin Student Event Center Facility Upgrades Project. The Breslin Center is located in the Athletic and Recreation District. Accomplishments during the month of September included completion of concession stands, upgrades to concourse areas, and completion of the strength and conditioning room in the Hall of History as well as the alumni locker room. Impacts to the campus community during October will include restriction of access at the Hall of History entrance through October 19th. Finishing work on the flooring in the new concourse areas in progress. Views of the new expanded concourse areas in use. The Hall of History entrance nears completion with the installation of exterior decorative elements and wrapping up of landscaping work around the plaza. Here you see a view of the southwest corner of the facility showing the new Victoria art installation. If you would like further information about this project, visit the construction.msu.edu webpage. Specific questions regarding the Breslin Center Facility Upgrades Project can be directed to the construction representative, Jason Van C. This concludes the October Construction Junction presentation. We encourage you to visit the Infrastructure Planning and Facilities website at www.ipf.msu.edu. There you will find information on construction and maintenance alerts, detour information, construction junction information, project, and contact information. There are also a number of other IPF resources available, including listservs that you can subscribe to to keep up to date with various IPF projects and events. Stay connected with IPF via social media. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Watch our videos on YouTube. And follow us on Instagram. Construction Junction presentations will be made available on the CJ website around the 7th of each month. We thank you for taking time to check us out, and we hope you'll visit again.